All right, folks, we're back, and here we have our ETF tab. Uh, basically, what I did here, uh, just threw together some interesting ETFs, uh, not in any particular logic, but just throwing them together to see how they would actually look uh, as a pair, watching them evolve, and so on. Uh, the one thing you got to be careful of when you're doing, you know, let's say ultras, one way or the other, you know, some of those are hard to borrow, some of those are not. Sometimes it changes, uh, you know, from, you know, say quarter to quarter. So again, uh, might double check yourself before you would do actually do any of these trades, but throwing these together just as a convenience for you to see how they work. Now, right down here below all of these, just uh, like I say, uh, random pairs that I put together, right down here, you'll notice that um, uh, I have some specific here like uh, SPY DIA, which we know would be a great pair, SPY Q, the DIA Q. Uh, here's one, uh, you know, some agricultural corn, uh, JJG and corn, uh, and so on. So, uh, again, uh, gold and GDX. Uh, again, some of these things are kind of interesting uh, to look at. But down here, I've listed, uh, I think, about 100 uh, ETFs that are easy to borrow. So the thing you want to make sure of is if you are looking at something that's easy to borrow. Uh, and if it's not, you need to be aware of that, right? So, for example, if you were trying to trade an ETF or a stock that was hard to borrow, you would probably want to be buying it long. And the other stock or ETF in the pair, that would be the one you would be shorting. So uh, just a nice little, uh, nice little bit of information here for you all to have uh, in your tool belt. Uh, uh, quite a few ETFs here to uh, to ponder. Okay. Uh, again, if you have questions, comments, uh, be sure to email me, Pierce Trader at shelltrader.net. Thank you all and enjoy that ETF tab.